The sea has always been a battlefield, but for the Moro warriors, it was a way of life. These legendary seafarers hailed from the southern islands of the Philippines, a diverse collection of Muslim tribes bound by common culture and a shared mastery of the sea. They were more than sailors, they were warriors, renowned for their fearsome prowess in naval warfare. In a world dominated by the might of Spanish colonizers, these warriors carved out their own path, resisting the relentless tide of colonization with courage and tenacity. The Moro warriors were not just defenders of their land, but guardians of their sea, their culture, and their way of life. They navigated treacherous waters, not just on the sea, but in the face of political upheaval and foreign invasion. It was this reputation that would be put to the test in the naval battle of Balanjingiga. Their courage, their skills, their very way of life would be challenged like never before. In the heat of the Philippine-American War, a confrontation was brewing off the coast of the town of Balanjingiga. The Americans, determined to maintain their grip on the archipelago, had imposed a stringent blockade, effectively isolating the town from the world. But the Moro warriors, the indomitable seafaring people of the southern Philippines, were not to be easily subdued. Fueled by a resilient spirit and a deep-seated desire for freedom, the Moros were resolved to break the chokehold that was stifling their homeland. The waters around Balangjingiga became a simmering cauldron of tension, each side watching the other, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. The Americans, confident in their superior firepower, held their line, while the Moros, masters of stealth and surprise, bided their time. As the sun set on September 27, 1901, the stage was set for a naval clash that would go down in history. As dawn broke, the Moro Vintas, traditional boats filled with warriors, charged towards the American gunboats. The morning of the battle was a tense affair. The Moro warriors, hardened by a lifetime of conflict, were ready for the fight. Their Vintas, agile and swift, cut through the waves like knives through butter. The American gunboats, sturdy and well-armed, were a formidable foe. Yet the Moros charged, their spirits undaunted. The initial Moro charge was a sight to behold. They surged forward, their vintas slicing through the waters with a singular purpose, to engage the Americans. Their weapons gleamed in the early morning light, each one a testament to their unwavering resolve. The American gunboats, caught off guard, scrambled to respond. The fighting was fierce. The Moros fought with a fervor that was both terrifying and awe-inspiring. They wielded their weapons with skill and precision, their movements a deadly dance of war. The Americans, on the other hand, relied on their superior firepower. Their guns roared, the deafening sound echoing across the waters. Despite the initial shock, the Americans managed to regroup and launch a counterattack. Their gunboats, now in formation, unleashed a barrage of fire. The Moros, undeterred, continued their assault. They maneuvered their vintas with expert precision, dodging the Americans' fire while closing in for the attack. In the face of the relentless American counterattack, the Moros made one final, desperate push. They charged, their vintas crashing against the American gunboats in a last-ditch effort to break through. It was a scene of utter chaos, a maelstrom of fire and steel. As the smoke cleared, both sides counted their losses, and the Battle of Balangjingiga passed into legend. The tale of the Moro warriors and their heroic stand against a formidable foe would be told and retold, a testament to their bravery and tenacity. The Battle of Balangjingiga was a bloody affair, but its significance goes beyond the lives lost on that fateful day. In the immediate aftermath, the Moro warriors had emerged victorious, their cunning and courage turning the tide of the battle in their favor. But this victory was tactical, not strategic. The American forces, stung by their defeat, retaliated with greater force and resources, eventually overpowering the Moro resistance. This battle, though a momentous event, did not change the course of the Philippine-American War. It did, however, serve to galvanize the Moros and other Filipino groups against the American occupation, fueling their determination to fight for their freedom. The Battle of Balangingiga has left an enduring legacy. The Moro warriors, through their bravery and resilience, have etched their place in the annals of naval warfare. These warriors continue to inspire generations, embodying the spirit of resistance and the struggle for freedom. The Battle of Balangjingjiga 
stands as a testament to the courage and tenacity of the Moro warriors, a dramatic chapter in the annals of naval warfare.